I saw it when you were coming in. This, uh, this is a real special airplane. This is, uh, the, the brakes are actual terminal velocity control. You can open them brakes up all the way and you can go straight down and you won't go over red line. Oh, really? There's not many airplanes that you can go straight down and it won't tear the wings off. Is it common on gliders or? It's not real common. There's, it's not the only glider that does that, but. Uh, this one does. And this one does. It? It's a Schweitzer 232. I think I've heard of that before. When it came out in the early 60s, it was the most high performance multi-place glider in the world. Wow. They set all kinds of world records with it. Okay, here comes the top. We are ready. Got plenty of room there? Yep, plenty. You know what one frog said to the other? No. Time sure is fun when you're having flies. <laughs> Do you have to do anything to the rope tension or you just kind of follow it? Well, we can we can get slack in it and that's part of what the training is, is to how to deal with the slack. But as long as you're in position back here uh, and it's not too turbulent, turbulent, you don't get any slack normally. But when it gets real rough, it's not terribly unusual to get slack. And I can create slack when we're training. We create a little slack in the rope and then teach the students how to take it out without breaking the rope. Uh -huh. You put slack in it when you go to release? Yes, just a little bit, yep. You can see the link. facility here. Who's that? That's the water treatment uh, center. They oh. they treat the water for Anthem and everybody over there and they, they generate more power than they use with all the cells there. Uh-huh. So they treat water from this lake? Yep. Pump it over to the city over there. There's not enough rainfall here in Arizona to keep this lake full. I know. So they pump it all the way from the Colorado. 